Welcome to ORVM Action News. I am Fennel Jameson. And I'm Lydia Hitchcock, and here are this decade's top stories. Our first story takes us up to the northern Ohio River Valley, to the bottom of the lakes of Michigan, and to the east of the Mississippi River. Land Ordinance of 1785 was passed by the Congress of the Confederation to sell land of the Old Northwest and pay off national debt. Now to Charlotte Webb with the whole story. Thanks, Lydia. This massive area of the Old Northwest will be surveyed before being sold to prevent future lawsuits against new owners. Uh, the land will be divided into 36 six-mile portions, the 16th of which will be sold to greatly benefit the children's education today. Today we have a farmer to tell us more about his current situation. Okay. I understand you've recently bought a portion of land, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. We bought a 40-acre section this hot month of August. It's part of the 27th section. I understand you're a farmer, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> We make corn, we make lots of it. Um, and since you bought this land, would you mind telling us a little bit about it? Ain't this place magical, y'all? It's given us opportunity for me and my 13 children. It's the American, living the American dream, to make corn and more children. And uh, where are we exactly? This place is called Ohio. All 60,000 of us call it home, me and my seven sisters included. Thank you for your time. Back to you, Fennel. Congress has yet again passed another legislation ordinance. The Northwest Ordinance of 1787. This latest regulation is a compromise for equality. The first is when a territory is populated as 60,000, the territory is subordinate to the federal government. After that, the land is now eligible to be a state after being admitted by Congress. These new states would be added to the original 13 colonies. In addition, slavery, slavery in the Old Northwest is now prohibited. Now back to Charlotte for the inside scoop. Today we're interviewing two Indians, I mean Native Americans. This is Chief Kuaniamatiwa. It means butterfly, showing beautiful wings. Uh, and one of his five wives, Sanawe. Sanawe. It's Anuya. It means red cloud at some point. Alright, so, so how do you feel about the Northwest Ordinances? We feel Mother Earth is in pain since white man comes steal land from us. Indeed, our land has been sliced up and poisoned. You're polluting this once pure land. So, I assume that means you're unwilling to sell anymore. Get out of here! <laughs> it sure seems like the territory of this new nation will minimize national debt, and colonists will start moving westward. That's right, Fennel. A long-term effect that may come into play is Native Americans losing their land, which will possibly lead to more tension between these two societies and cultures. Lastly, slavery being prohibited may cause a divide between different ideals of Americans everywhere. James Madison recently said, Great as the evil of slavery is, a dismemberment of the Union would be worse. Maybe a civil war? <laughs> Breaking news, the day of Algiers, a pirate band of North African states, Tripoli, Tunis, Morocco, and Algiers, have started plundering the American Mediterranean trade ships and enslaving the American sailors. This is following the attacks of the Barbary states. The government responded to these giving over $80,000 to the pirates. The attacks started in 1784 and are continuing until payment stops in the 1830s. Oh no, it seems those Americans have another problem on their hands. Today, from across the ocean, we have a captured Yankee slave, taken from the day of Algiers. Seems like quite an unfortunate day for you. How did you get in this predicament? So, I was on a ship in the Mediterranean Sea, headed for the American market, and a group of pirates came aboard and took 21 of us, including me, hostage, and they asked for $60,000. Seems quite ironic, doesn't it, that now Africans are taking Americans as slaves. So, about getting me out of here? Back to you guys! Help! Help me! Help! Well, I guess that's one price you have to pay for liberty. What do you think about it? I think it was a great idea. Even though many people lost their lives for this idea of independence, the overall outcome will provide a significant and positive change for this starting new nation. I agree with you, Lydia. I think such a drastic change will be for the better. Thank you for joining us. Please join us next time for an interesting story. Did George Washington really cut down the cherry tree? Thank you and good night. Hello. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>
dude. I lost the accent. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm recording. <laughs> Let's make some corn. <laughs>